Hey guys, in this video, we'll look at how to use chain rule for differentiation. And there are five simple steps to follow in any chain rule question. So step one is identify the smaller x function inside the original function and label it u. Step two is rewrite the original function in terms of u. Step three is differentiate u and the newly written original function. Step four, multiply these derived functions together. And this is what you see in the chain rule formula, which tells you that dy on dx, which means the derived function is given by dy on du multiplied by du on dx. And step five is substitute u with the original smaller function in your answer. So let's look at an example. So example one, y equals three x plus five to the power of six. So step one is identifying your smaller function. So in this case, this is a smaller function. So u equals 3x plus 5. Step two is rewrite the original function in terms of u. So y is now going to be u to the 6. Step three is differentiate u and the newly written original function. So this is going to derive to 6u to the 5 and u is going to derive to just 3. Step 4, multiply this derived functions together. So our answer dy on dx is going to be this multiplied by this. And step 5, is substitute u with the original smaller function. So in our answer, which is 18u to the 5, we can replace this u with 3x plus 5, which is what it originally was. And that's it. Let's look at another example. y equals 4x squared plus 8 to the power of 7. So again, step 1. We need to identify our smaller function, which is going to be 4x squared plus 8. Step 2, rewrite the original function in terms of u. So y will be u to the 7. Step 3, differentiate both of these functions. So du on dx will be 8x and dy on du will be 7 u to the 6. Now step 4 is multiplying them together, which is 8x times 7u to the 6, which is 56xu to the 6. And then step 5 is sub in your u back in the answer. So dy on dx is going to be 56x, u gets replaced with 4x squared plus 8 to the power of 6. So in short, when you have a function that looks like this, it derives to the derivative of this, which is nu to the n minus 1, multiplied by derivative of u. Now, this applies for other rules as well. So these are the basic differentiation rules. If you need a refresher on them or a summary on them, click on the video in the description or that's just come up on the top right. Basically, we looked at this example that if y is x to the n, then y dash is n times x to the n minus 1. This is our basic power rule. But when we're using chain rule and it's a smaller function that's getting to the power of something, then its derivative becomes you derive u to the n using the power rule, which is n u to the n minus 1, and you just multiply it by u's derivative. And that's the rule that follows through for everything else. So y is e to the x, and its derivative is also e to the x. This is a basic rule. So if in chain rule we had e to the u, well, that would derive to e to the u multiplied by derivative of u. Now we know ln x derives to 1 on x, so if our function was y equals ln u, then that would derive to 1 on u multiplied by u dash. Same thing with these rules, we know that sine 
x derives to cos x, so sine u would derive to cos u multiplied by u dash. If we had cos x, and we know that derives to negative sine x, then if we had cos u, that would derive to negative sine u multiplied by u dash. And keeping this going, if we had negative sine u, then y dash would be, well, negative sine x derives to negative cos x, so negative sine u will derive to negative cos u multiplied by u dash, or the derivative of u. And the last one is if the question is negative cos u, then the derivative will be sine u times u dash. So let's look at an example of each. Say you had y equals 2x plus 3 to the 5. So y dash will be first, you just derive this 5, 2x plus 3 raised to 4, and you multiply that with the derivative of this bracket, which is 2. And this will simplify to 10, 2x plus 3 raised to 4. Let's look at an example of this. So if y was e raised to, let's say, x squared, then y dash will be e raised to u, so e raised to x squared, multiplied by the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. And then we can write this as 2x e raised to x squared. Let's look at this. So if y was ln 8x squared, say, then y dash would be 1 over 8x squared multiplied by the derivative of that, which is 16x. And this will simplify to, so 16 and 8 will simplify to 2, and x and the x squared will simplify to x. So let's look at one of these examples. So if you've got y equals sine of 3x, that's going to derive to cos u. So this is our u. So it'll be cos 3x again, multiplied by its derivative, which is 3. Which is 3 cos 3x. Let's say, for example, we had y equals negative cos 4x squared. Again, this is our u. So the derivative will be, so if it's negative cos u, then the derivative will be sine u. So sine our u is 4x squared, multiplied by u's derivative. So 4x squared will derive to 8x. So that's going to be 8x sine 4x squared. So basically, chain rule really builds on top of our basic differentiation, where instead of differentiating just x, we have a smaller function that we're differentiating. So we differentiate the original function just as we would if it was x. So if it was sine x, we know that that would become cos x. So sine u becomes cos u with the additional step that you also have to multiply with the derivative of u. And this happens for each rule. All right, that's it for this lesson. And head on over to my website if you want to get resources uh, straight to your inbox. Thank you. Bye.